Hello and welcome to On This Day. So, what is On This Day? Well, On This Day we take a day from history, today being the 3rd of March. We look at people who died, people who were born, and also things that actually happened on that day. So let's get started then. So today is the 3rd of March in 1847, Alexander Graham Bell, Scottish born British American inventor, obviously famously invented the telephone, was born in Edinburgh in Scotland and he died in 1922. In 1972, Darren Anderson, English footballer, played for Portsmouth, the best team in the world. Then he decided he couldn't cope being at the greatest team, so he went to Spurs. Um, I think he finished at Bournemouth or somewhere, got injuries, went to the World Cup, played for England, born and raised in Portsmouth, well, no, he was born and raised in Southampton, but he was a Portsmouth player. In 1977, Ronan Keaton, Irish pop singer from Boys Own, Words, No Matter What, Solo, When You Say Nothing At All, radio host, TV personality, was born in Bayside in Dublin, Ireland. So, let's move on to some people who sadly died um, on that day. Also, quick one here for you, that. So, today I'm at work. This is my um, present for um, Secret Santa we died a few weeks ago. Thank you to Amy, my 1,000th subscriber, allegedly. So, people who died, Albert Sleeman, um, Abraham Saperstein, originally known, um, British American physician who invented the oil polio vaccination, died of heart attack, fate, heart failure in the age of 86. In 2010, Michael Foot, British politician with the Labour Party and writer and leader of the opposition between 1980 and 1983, famously had the terrible um, election that year, only surpassed recently by Jeremy Corbyn, just saying he died at the age of 96. In 2018, Robert Bannister, English athlete, first person to go under four minutes for the mile with three, mi three, hour, three minutes 59.4 seconds at the Ulfi Road Track in Oxford in 1954. He died of Parkinson's disease at the age of 88. So what happened then? So in 1789, first whale harpoon in the Pacific Ocean by English ship Emily off the coast of South America. In 1791, the first U.S. Internal Revenue Act taxing distilled spirits and carriages. In 1971, Congress established the U.S. Mint. In 1812, U.S. passes first foreign AIDS bill, AIDS Venezuela earthquake victims. In 1841, the first U.S. child port labor law regarding working hours was passed in mass. In 1857, Second Opium War, France and the United Kingdom declared war on China. Yep, it was a war because they both wanted to sell drugs, which are now illegal. Um, in 18, the past was the worst. In 1865, opening of the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, the founding members of the HSBC Group. Who knew they were Chinese? In 1891, the penalty spot kick rule in association with football is conceived but does not come into effect until the next season. In 1914, Emperor Wilhelm II of Germany becomes the first person to make a sound recording of a political document using Thomas Edison's cylinder. In 1917, German Foreign Secretary Arthur Zimmermann publicly admits that the Zimmermann telegram is genuine generate support for the US declaration of war on Germany in April. In 1931, the Star-Spangled Banner officially becomes US national anthem by Congress. Resolution, the lyrics by Francis Scott Key in 1814 set to John Stanford Smith's 18th century tune, the An Eccentric Song. In 1941, Netherlands NSB leader Musa visits Herman Goring in Berlin in 1943. Benoit Green's tube disaster, 149 die 
hit in a stampede, sheltering in an air raid. U.S.'s greatest loss of civilian, civilian even life in Second World War. Um, Detail censored until January 20th, 1945. In 1945, RAF bombing error hits The Hague, killing 511. And this slightly disaster. In 1969, Apollo 9 launches for the 151 Earth orbits in 10 days. In 1986, the greatest album of all time was released Masters of Puppets. Third studio run by American heavy metal Masters of Thrash Metallica. In 1992, gas explosion on the coal mine in Dundaduk. Zong Yuladuk. Zong Yuladuk. Yeah, well, it was Zong Yuladuk, I think, in Turkey. 263 die. In 1992, US President George H.W. Bush apologizes for raising taxes after pledging not to. Uh, politicians. In 2012, a lorry crash in East Guinea kills 50 and injured 27. In, 19, in 2013, a two-year-old US girl becomes the first child born with HIV to be cured. In 2017, a mass grave of 800 children and infants confirmed at a former Catholic care home in Turin in Ireland. I remember that, that was shocking really. 2020, Iran releases 54,000 people from prison to avoid spread of COVID-19 as the country reports 77 deaths and 2,300 cases, including two dozen MPs. One of the MPs are getting air mask serious. In 2020, World Bank pledges 12 billion pounds in emergency aid for developing countries dealing with COVID-19. In 2020, also UK, has the wettest February since records begin in 1862. According to the Met Office, 209.1 millimeters of rainfall, 200, 237% above average. That's a lot of rain. I do also remember though that the March, April and May were fantastically sunny. I remember I was sitting in the garden in the lockdown. In 2020, last Ebola patient is charged from hospital in Benin, Democratic Republic of Congo, raising hopes of wake at the end of the country after 2,300 deaths. There you go, you finally got a bit of a bonus. What could possibly come next? Hello, COVID. In 2021, the US President Joe Biden criticizes lifting the COVID 19 restrictions by Texas and Mississippi as the funder. The Fanderol thinking. In 2021, Sarah Everett is kidnapped, raped, and murdered by a police UK policeman after being arrested under false pretenses in London. And in 2022, Russian forces seize the Ukraine's Zaporozhia nuclear plant, the largest in Europe. They've also now, I know this is a few days in the past, this is recorded in the future. I know, normally you'd think, oh, I've probably recorded this in the past. No, this one is actually recorded in the future. And they lost um, Chernobyl to the Russians. Chernobyl, famously the world's worst nuclear disaster. Let's hope that they don't rock about too much there. This has been on this day, the 3rd of March. I'm going to try and get these out today. Um, and I'm going to try and catch up a bit. Try and record a few more quickly, get them done. And then we can uh, move on. This has been on this day. This has been your manager.